see, you see, animal trainers are really tuned in to animals' body language because they cannot speak to you. Here's the thing: when animals sometimes do things out of place, there is something wrong with the animal. If my cat starts licking herself, if she's walking and starts licking, or she starts playing and starts licking herself, she might feel nervous. She might not feel confident. It's the same exact thing in human beings. Okay? So weak body language, for example, is Sometimes when you're in a meeting and you start doing things that you don't usually do and you're scratching your face, well, something's happening to you at that moment. Or you start putting your, your hands over your, your, your mouth, right? Why are you, are you, if you're having fun, would you put your hands over your mouth, right? If you are nervous, would you start scratching yourself? Really, think about the last time you're really enjoying yourself. Would you be scratching yourself? Would you be putting your hands over your face? Would you be making these, uh, would you be biting your lips? Right? Would your eyes do something weird? Would you be looking up? Would you be looking down? When you do these little ticks out of nowhere, usually you do, usually you don't notice them. But when you start noticing them in other people, that's when you can start noticing. Hmm. It's like my cat walking, and then eventually start licking herself, and then walking again. If you're having a conversation with someone, and they start biting their lips out of nowhere, you might be thinking, hmm. Maybe there's something going on. Now, here's the thing: it might not be what you said. Maybe the person has to pay a uh, pay the car to put in money for the meter, so the car don't get towed. Right? There might be something going on in the person's mind. You cannot assume because you can, you don't know what they're thinking about. But something is happening in their mind that is not going right. Right? If you are super comfortable, you will not start doing. Things that you don't usually do in that moment. So some of the weak body language that you have to be aware of. Hmm. If you start scratching your face, that you know when you're nervous, pay attention to that. Or maybe when you are nervous, you don't even take a breath. Start noticing that. Or you bite your lips. Start noticing all these things that you do. Or you might make a sound every single time you don't agree with something. So just start noticing these little ticks that you don't usually do when you are super comfortable.